If you want to pull extra cold or hot air through your HVAC, today's video, we're going to show you how to use mixed flow inline fan with an insulation pipe to make it happen. And we're going to show you how to hook it all up. Stay tuned for the whole video. This is a brand new room that we've built in this uh, home. I'm gonna show you, it's like a playroom for kids. The problem is because it is actually over the garage, there's no heating. And what we are doing underneath here is, so this is actually what's upstairs, the main HVVAC, and so the heat is actually coming into the garage right now. In our situation, we definitely need to pull a lot more air into this room, so we're gonna be using this inline airflow fan. It comes with a manual, it shows you how to connect things. It's actually very easy, you just need these clamps. One is enough, and then you wanna put some sort of an insulating hose, like this, right? So this is an HVAC Chiquilo 4-inch insulated flexible duct. It's got an R4.2 value, comes in 25 foot lengths and four, seven, eight, 10, 12, and five inch diameters. It uses glass wool insulation, which is the safest building material out there. It can be used for high, medium, and low pressure ventilation system without any corrosive gas, mainly in central air conditioning, HVAC system for fresh air ventilations. So we can take this and we basically put this over like that and then we tighten that with the clamp. And we just plugged it in. I wanna show you guys how loud this is. This is model HF75S, it's IP44. Now I'm gonna show you how loud this is. So we're at 60, which is reasonably loud. I'm gonna show you guys, see how much air is being pushed through this. It's quite a significant amount. All right, so I wanna show you guys how I set this up. All I used was just a hanger. There's a little piece right through, so this kind of sits upright, but we're good on that. We went and we connected the three inch with the three inch and then we put aluminum tape and then we put duct tape. Before we do finish, we are gonna put an additional layer of this protective HVAC foil. So we decided to opt to get the one long pipe through here instead of uh, toying with these galvanized ones. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but we fed the whole thing through and now we just have to take this and attach it to here. This is a galvanized four inch clamp. You use this to tighten two things together, especially two H ducts. So we are gonna put this over top of here <coughs> and over top of here. We've stretched this over. Now there are these uh, aluminum springs we'll call them. So we put two towards the end, you see that? And then the clamp goes against it. And that's how you ensure that it's not gonna pull away. So let's go tighten that up. All right, that's in. A good measure, we're gonna go and put some aluminum tape around this, and then we pull this over, pull this over, and we're gonna be using the fasteners on the edges and hooking it up with an insulated pipe, flexible pipe. And this is what's going up to the top. And there you have it, 73 in the same room off the garage when it's cold outside. And that is where the fan is blowing. So we'll put this on and that's it. Now one last thing I wanted to show you, the fan that is currently on is being controlled through here. So it is plugged in to an extension cord and this extension cord is plugged into this cube. This is a smart plug. So we pre-programmed this cube to turn on and off with Google Assistant. So if we wanted to turn the fan off and on the motor, we basically either press this and that turns it off, or we could just say, hey Google, turn off the garage. And that is going to be assigned to that smart switch. So again, you can leave it on running the whole time, which is directly underneath here, or you can just control it with your voice. Thanks for watching.